gear is definitely split. So far I can tell here that the motor shaft gear in the tail is split and the motor shaft gear in the mouth is split. Okay, yep, we're gonna... <laughs> Ironically, the only thing that actually does work on this is the head. Okay, <laughs> again. Yeah, head comes out all the way. All right. Just the <laughs> It's a bin. So anyways guys, we're going to jump cut here and we're going to start repairing this guy. Unscrew the six screws in the back here and get him working. His battery compartment's also falling off too, so I might have to replace that. Um, first things first, you're going to want to take out these four batteries. We got the batteries out, let's start. So we're just going to unscrew these six screws and go from there. That's one. It's satisfying click though, like when you open up a fish for the first time. Yeah. Let's keep these from rolling off the table. If you guys are wondering, I'm working in the garage, so not really the best spot to be fixing fish, but yeah. Yeah, I fix them in my room. Yeah. You can fix a fish anywhere you want, if you yeah, want to, really. Yep, I got three so far. I gotta do three more here. Screw number four. Five. There we go. So I love like the sound of like the click though, you know, like for the first time when you open up a fish. I know I said that before, but it's just really satisfying. Yeah. All right, moment of truth, guys. So what I do is I always like to pull my thumb like along with the adapter jack is or you can just pull it with this in oh that's squeaky yeah, it could use a little bit of work i don't know about you guys pretty clean in there i'm gonna spray some of this stuff it's uh crc qd electric cleaner you want to get the one that's quick drying you just I take it just take some in there just take some of this stuff in here and you just go at that, and look at that. And it'll clean the circuit board right up. There we go. A little bit in the button there, and there we go. It's actually very clean inside, Bryson. Next thing I'm going to do is unscrew the circuit board right here from the board. There's two little screws here. So I'm going to, just that way you don't want to pull off any extra wires though if you don't have to, you know. Yeah. A click again. That's how you know though, if a fish hasn't been worked on before, you'll, you'll hear a click for the first time. Isn't that right, Bryson? There we go. So this way then you don't want to pull any actual wires off. Just be very careful. Sometimes the wires are a little short. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these six screws, or um, all the screws actually. So I'm going to do a jump cut. I'll show you guys which screws to remove. Whoop. Okay, so we're going to have to remove these two fabric screws. So these are for the fabric. These two. And then two more on the bottom. 
So let's start by removing all these again. Yeah, because you can never have too many Billy Basses, right? This one's a little thick. You always want to be careful too. You don't want these screws to fall down into the mechanism either. Be very careful. Oh. That peg is broken. Yeah, peg was broken already though. It went to go turning it, it kind of fell. Nope, that one just fell down there. Okay, I'm trying to grip all my screws better as best I can here. I'm trying to hold the phone at the same time too. Okay, so. The exception of this one little thing right there, I'm just gonna set that over there. I'm gonna pull this off like that. Okay, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna have to turn this like this a little bit, and we're gonna jump cut again. Okay, so now we gotta get this motor out though in order to take off the whole fish. That's what we're gonna do next. Isn't that right, Sunstar? I kind of group some of these screws either so I don't lose track of these. Okay. Now sometimes these motors can be a little tricky to get out, but we'll see what happens now if I try to get this thing out. Yeah, sometimes they're like very tight under. Yep. Super snug on this one too. As you can try to muscle it a little bit. It's coming. Okay, so now, just kind of rotate it a little bit like that. The rest of the fish just kind of comes out then. And now we can actually take the time out to clean the plaque off. So I'm gonna go uh, wipe, wipe off this plaque and stuff and I'll jump cut back to repairing it. Okay guys, we're back. Um, I wanted to wipe off the plaque real quick. There's still some sticky residue this just happens a lot in Florida weather, you know, or areas where it's very humid. So now I'm gonna start by replacing the tail gear. So all you gotta do, stretch the skin around the motor like that. So you kind of expose the motor on the top here. Are you doing that from me? No, I've actually done this um, from a while. A lot of people know though that you just okay, um, you just simply fish. stretch the skin is all around yeah, where the most like rare fish or any fish that just like has the eyes still <laughs> good in the eye sockets. You don't have to take the full thing out if it's a split gear. If it's a split jaw piece, then yes, you're probably gonna have to do some stuff. But if it's a split gear, just stretch the skin over the motor. It's kind of hard, but it, it it'll work out. This one's been think, for a while. It's really hard to get out actually. There we go, come on. Oh yeah, that's uh, just coming right off, look at that. The greasy old gear. That's a 10 tooth actually. Okay, let me go get some, I forgot to go get my um, stuff to clean this up with, so. Okay guys, so we're back and I got some gears and some paddles and things here. I always keep these in a just gonna spray a little cleaner in here to give us money. Cleaning off some of the extra old grease in there. Again, I'm using QD electronic cleaner. It's good for anything electronics wise, motors, 
If you got a motor that's really locked up really bad, you can always just use that too. See, there's nine little, little edges on there. So if you want to pause that and cut, count the teeth there. See, it's a brand new gear. Look at that. It's going to work beautiful. You can usually get these sets of gears on eBay for like, maybe like two bucks or something, you know? Because these are just wholesale gears that you can buy. They're generic gears, basically. That's what Jimmy uses. So I don't really have an original 10 tooth, but I'm going to try a 9 tooth and see how that works out. So you just, to put on the new gear, you just take the little hole for the, get right there. I want to shove it on there really good. There we go. Slide that back into there. I get to make it. See? Once that's in like that, you can just kind of put this little bracket piece back on. This bracket piece kind of goes in like that. A lot of people have, they say they have 2,000 models when they go. Right. There's many, many models. And, uh. Yeah, that's it. So. Smooth. Smooth like pudding. I'm sure Aiden's gonna probably turn this all into a meme. As I was saying, there are the two very rare. It's hard to get them. So I'm yeah. trying to get them. Yeah, they're tricky to find. But anything can be found, you know? Yeah. I'm using a Duratrack yeah. some. Really repair kit here. Skin on the there we go. Now we gotta work on the head. So let's flip this dude around. Because the motor, it, it's not on this side, but it's on the opposite side of the fish. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna have to stretch this skin a little bit. Be careful not to rip the skin. like that see just kind of wrap it around the motor holder just like you did for the tail take us a little bit of time to work on this guy same thing for these ones a lot of the times the gears will just split and a lot of people don't know though is that you can easily repair these jimmy Industry is never intended for people to be able to repair these, you know? Yeah, because, like, I think, I'm not sure, like, what they were thinking, but they were probably just like, oh, well. I'm going to have to get a wrench. Let's see here. Now we got a wrench in this toolbox somewhere. Uh-huh. So what you're going to want to do is if the motor is really hard to get out, you put this uh, wrench around the part here, around the silver part of the motor. Not around, not near the top, but just around the side. You have to just kind of grab onto it and then just kind of spin it like this. Like that, and then just kind of wiggle it. It came right out. Look at that. course the gear fell down into the mechanism so I'm gonna have a have to have to have a I'm pushing that out you don't exactly have to take it out Sam no it will work but the witness still is there sometimes it could get stuck and mess it up all right that's what I'm worried about so I'm gonna have to fish this guy out fish the gear out so I'm gonna jump cut again all right guys I'm back um, I avoided the crisis. I had to dig on into that little gearbox thing to get the gear out. He's, now, what happens is that a lot of the times these gears get a little tiny micro crack in between the teeth of these gears. That's what causes a lot of them to slip and not be able to operate properly. 
So as you guys can see, I still have the motor here. So I'm just gonna take my gears out. I store them in little pill jars, as I said before, to keep, keep them organized. Got a fresh gear right there. They're either gonna be a nine tooth or a 10 tooth. So you have to count how many teeth are on the gear and then use it accordingly. Usually the tails use a 10 tooth and, a, and the heads use a uh, nine tooth and the, and the mouths use a 10 tooth. Gosh. Okay. <laughs> Before we screw it in place, I'm going to do another test real quick. Make sure that it works and stuff. Oh, got yeah, nice and smooth. You'll hear a regular, like a little ch -ch 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 if it's um, done properly, basically. And this was, um, so these screws again, we're going to, they're real hard to hit. I'll be sure to zoom in. I'm getting this, um, yeah, the place it's really nice when the rare occurrence happens, when, when that occurrence happens and you find that Billy Bass, you know, flea market. When you put that in the new gear and it's very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And for the head part, I'm going to actually replace this. This looks like it's going, it'll split probably eventually. Looks like it's in a split soon, you probably should, yeah. I can't get this gear off. I, you know what, I'm gonna leave this one alone. This is a nine tooth. Anyway, and the head works 100% already. So, I'm gonna get this bad boy back up, back on the plaque and ready for singing. So now, mouth works. So it works. And the head worked originally already, so. Should be in good shape. I'm just gonna, now you have to kind of tuck the fabric through. Kind of pull it through from the other side. Now the fabric's gonna have these like little metal rings. It's usually what goes into the little pegs, if that makes sense. We're in pretty good shape here. Make sure I'm not pinching any wires when I put them back on. Kind of pull this through a little bit. Okay. Like the silver wings? Yes, sir. These are the silver wings, my friend. So these are what go into these little pegs here. Kind of what organizes the screws and stuff. So there's gonna go two there. there. There was one there, but I gotta get that off too. And there's two in the bottom. Sometimes they're over to this side too, but this one doesn't have that. So it's just a little interesting fact. Okay, guys, one more thing I forgot to mention. These holes in the motor actually line up inside of the motor holders. See those like little bumps? It's hard to see here. It's right in there. So that motor is gonna line up with those little holes and it locks it in place. It's hard to do this all with one hand. Just slide that back into place there. See, and then it'll go, and this little thing will go in the top here. Okay, so we're back. So yeah, I thought that that would be interesting to you guys. See how that little motor holder goes back in like that? Just like in the previous video, it's still the same. It's still the same technique. And get these little tiny screws. So these are the smaller screws, the bracket. So you're like putting it back on the plaque right now? Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. I'm gonna get his um, screws back in on. I'm just kind of taking it like this and Make, make sure it's just like all lined. Yep. There we go. 
And so the fish will still be able to act normally. Um, some of the other collectors around here, like, uh, Vade Territory, he's good about giving tips, too. You guys should check out some of his stuff, too, that he has on his channel, too. And it's just a billy bass. Like, it's a normal billy bass. You should just replace the plaque. This is good footage so far. So I'll have to do something. I'll have to makeshift a piece later, though, to try to get these two pegs broken, but I'm gonna jump cut and show you guys the progress so far. One last thing, you guys. I'm gonna clean out the button a little bit. The button was a little hard, hard to be able to press, so I'm just gonna. There you go. And all the time I've been collecting fish, I never knew that you could, uh, you could put tin foil in the button. Yeah, it's like you can put tin foil on the, the, little... the, like, the black part. The little button thing is the problem. I thought it was because they do it the little circuit thing on the button. See, so here's the circuit thing on the button. That's what actually. What happens is that when that rubber piece pushes down, you can see right there, the little contacts right there, it's very clean. Yeah, so when you guys can see right there is that when the button actually pushes down, it completes the whole circuit board right here and that's what goes to the rest of the board and makes it sing. Pretty cool. Yeah. And then the green one here with the green wires here, that's the sensor. So, pretty cool. Oh. Next mission right here is going to be this little board. You got to put it back into its original place. And even though we did lose a couple of pegs in the process, he's still he's still doing good. Yeah. For being. As long as you lose every, you know, as long as not every peg you broke off, it should be fine. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I also opened up the garage door behind me because it started getting a little toasty in here. We'll have to get something though to eventually to get that see because it's loose on there. And see what I can rig up. For the meantime though, he does work very good though. I'm very happy with, with the results. So let's get him put back together. Just kind of carefully line up line up the spots here. Make sure you're not covering any wires or any wires are getting pinched because Ryson's also sick, by the way, too. I'm sure you guys probably knew that by his coughing. Sometimes these wires from the by, by the adapter deck like to get wedged between the inner and outer plaque. There we go. Guys, a fully working Big Mouth Billy Bass now. Went from not fully working to 